week and uh, she's the health trainer and she caught a bird yesterday, an eyeball. She took off my hand in her harness. Pulled my arm on the socket. <laughs> really? So, uh, Robbie, we're just finishing up uh, the surf session here with uh, Patrick Iveson, and uh, you've been working with Patrick now for eight years. And uh, actually, I'll just get up here because I'm kind of sitting a little bit below the the rocks. Um, what's it like uh, going out in the water with Patrick? Right. Patrick is really, really stoked all the time. He's really intense. He loves to surf. He laughs a lot, but he really loves to go in the water as much as he possibly can. And whenever he's out of school, my phone doesn't stop ringing. So when Patrick gets out of school, he's basically on the phone with you to go hit the waves. Pretty much. Uh, you've been working with Patrick for how long? Since 2006. Since 2006, for about three, four years, somewhere in there? Roughly. Yeah, ballpark. And uh, now we've got the official uh, Patrick Iveson quiver of boards. And, uh, uh, actually, I'm going to have you take us back through and kind of show us the evolution of Patrick and uh, some of the boards he's been riding and uh, how he's kind of evolved and upgraded to some more uh, kind of speed boards and kind of gotten a little more upper body strength to do a little bit more out in the water. When I first met Patrick, he wasn't that strong. And it was impossible to keep his head off the deck of the board. So we had to use boards like this, um, which was designed by Tom Morey. I had to ride, ride tandem with him, and the team would pitch us in in the waves. But over time, through his work at Project Walk, he got stronger and was able to ride a board by himself. So he had an invite to surf at the U.S. Open. So we built this thing in 20 minutes with duct tape and pool noodles. This is the uh, the Becker board. This is the uh, we called the Duct Tape Express. The Duct Tape Express. Absolutely. Nice. Um, I bought these at Long's Drugs for a dollar a piece, and I cut them up and we shaped them up. The little the chest pad here and elbow pads here for keeping elbows from sliding out. But it was pretty crude and really didn't do such a great job. Um, but it worked. So I went and talked to uh, Dennis Murphy and I showed him some drawings and some ideas. We built this board here. And this board has a lot more rocker. It's a quad fin set up. It's really designed to surf and really designed to do a lot more than just plow through white water or plow through some mushy waves. Right. He can actually surf this board. He can actually pull the tube on this board and do turns. Wow. Um, this board, I approached Matt Bielis about a year ago, and Matt agreed to make a board for Patrick, and built this thing. It's kind of like a big modified fish, and this thing weighs about uh, about four pounds. About three, three, and a half, three, three, three quarter pounds. Three, I picked that board up in Huntington Beach about a week ago. I couldn't believe how light it was. It's uh, again, it's another quad setup as well, channel bottom. This board is uh, really, really fun because it's really, really fast. It's really good for point ways like trestles and reefs like something like cliffs and, uh, and swamis. And I know uh, when I was with Patrick up in Huntington Beach uh, about a week ago, uh, he lit up like a, like a lighthouse when he started talking about some of these boards he's got. And I know that uh, the guys that have gone in and shaped and put these boards together, it really means a lot to him. And, uh, uh, you know, when you start talking about his boards, he lights up, uh, I mean, he just, you've never seen a bigger smile on a kid's face. The most significant thing about these boards is they're all of them are donated. Right. Um, they were, at the time, Matt Bellis with this board from scratch, completely brand new board for free. Um, Dennis Murphy and all the sponsors donated this board, and um, of course my, my company as well. And then, again, that was donated. Same with the, uh, with the uh, big blue board. That's awesome. A lot of heart went in that. <clears throat> that I mean, that's, uh, it is a lot of heart. And uh, I mean, quite honestly, I just was out there. That's the first time I've seen uh, I, that's the first time I've been lucky enough to see him out go surfing, but uh, it takes a lot of courage for him to go out there. You've been out there since the point where he couldn't really even keep his head off the board. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when, when the waves get a little bigger, he gets tipped over. You know, he's basically got to wait for somebody to kind of pick him up and get him out of the water. I mean, you could really see that, you know, that he just has so much heart and so much courage to go out there and do that despite uh, whatever, you know, obstacles that might be in his way. It's, it's, uh, it's very inspiring. Let me tell you a classic Patrick story. Yeah, let's hear it. A classic one is we started surfing with Patrick about, I guess, about four or five years ago. And my team were really, really uh, careful with Patrick, really almost too careful. So he actually shot past the entire team, inside and outside, right past us. And we panicked. So he flipped off in the impact zone. And we swam as fast as we can with our swim fins. It took us a good 35, 40 seconds. And we get there, <sighs> out of breath. We turn him over and he goes, well, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> totally relaxed. We were totally panicked. <laughs> but that's Patrick. 
That's, uh, I'll tell you, man, it's, uh, it's, it's just, I, I've, I've, I'm with SoCal Beaches. I, I've covered so many stories. This is definitely the best story I've ever covered is uh, watching him going out in the, in the surf and, uh, and basically just tackling it head on and not really having any fear or any cares in the world about it. He's just absolutely determined he's going to do it, and he does it, and it's really awesome to watch. It's actually very inspiring too to see guys like you and uh, you know the team of people it goes with that to help him facilitate doing that because uh, obviously you know he, he he needs a lot of help when he gets out there to kind of make it all happen. So uh, now, uh, Robbie, you're with uh, Happy Barrel Surf School and also the Adaptive Surfing Foundation and Adaptive Surfing. So can you uh, just give us a little quick uh, a little bit of information about the Adaptive Surfing School and uh, I want to get your web address and uh, any if anybody's in the area or uh, you know might be willing to participate in that how do they get a hold of you? The Adaptive Surfing Foundation is under the Happy Barrel Surf Instruction uh, heading and you can reach us at www.happybarrelsurfschool.com and the foundation came about where about 12 years ago, I started working out with different foundations. Um, the Penn School for the Blind in Santa Cruz has a volunteer, there's surf camp up there. I did one for Ride a Wave. Um, the last 12 years I've been doing this, this volunteer work and it made sense to me to, to create with my experience as a waterman and a surfer and an adaptive surfer coach, I, uh, we built this. It's what it is, is it provides an opportunity for people that want to surf at the next level. It doesn't matter if you're in a wheelchair or not. We can right. build the board, we can make the experience happen, we have the volunteers, we have the team, we have the experience. And it's just it's a lot of fun for us and a lot of fun for them because they get to ride a real wave on a real board made for them. That is so cool. And uh, you're a you're a former professional surfer. I mean, you made a, a living and you were on the tour and, and surfed for quite a while yourself. So it's pretty cool now to, uh, to be able to give back and watch a lot of these people get that opportunity. I've been playing in the ocean since I was a five-year-old kid and I've been <laughs> living at it for 22 years. So uh, yeah, I owe surfing. I, I think surfing is an energy you have to give back to. It's a lot of love. So surfing for me has been uh, not just taking from the ocean, but giving back to people and in the ocean, it's just, it's required, I think. That's awesome. So, uh, anybody who's uh, watching this video and uh, you're you're watching this for the adaptive surfing or you want to take surfing lessons, again, uh, Rob, how's the, how do they get a hold of you? Um, the no-cost surf program for people with disabilities, uh, you can reach me directly at 760-519-1554 or Happy Barrel Surf School uh, at www happybarrelsurfschool.com and again 760-519-1554. Awesome. Again, the adaptive program is completely free. That is awesome. Great stuff, brother. Hey, thank you so much for your time today. We'll look forward to seeing you get in the water. Thanks.